and uh, specific to urology. I think uh, as surgical disciplines go, we have a, a fairly um, nice lifestyle. What's happening guys and welcome back to yet another great video on our channel. Ever wonder which doctor makes the most money? Well, you've come to the right place to get your answer. For a profession that involves intense hard work and practice, medicine is arguably the riskiest profession around. But this is exactly why it pays so well overall. However, some specialists are paid more than others in the field. So head on in and have a look at the top 10 highest paid doctors. Number 10, Dentistry. Dentists who earn a doctorate degree are able to earn around $175,000 per year on average. It takes six years for an aspiring dentist to become eligible to work solely. Most dentists tend to work about 36 hours a week and they have great flexibility in their profession as well. Number 9. Urology Practicing urologists work for about 55 hours a week and their average salary per annum amounts to about $373,000. This branch in medicine is quite extensive and takes about 13 years in total, including training and education, to finally be able to practice. Number 8. Dermatology Becoming a dermatologist takes over 12 years of post-secondary education and training. This includes four years in residency. Generally, dermatologists don't put in a lot of hours at work. They work for about 40 hours a week and earn up to $392,000 per annum. Number 7. Gastroenterology Gastroenterology focuses on the study and specialization in the digestive system and its disorders. These doctors must complete six years of formal training to become a practitioner. They tend to work about 50 hours a week and earn up to $408,000 per year on average. Number 6. Radiation Oncologists these doctors work closely with cancer patients and other doctors to be able to effectively work on the cure with the former. One of the biggest advantages of becoming a radiation oncologist is that they have one of the best work-life balance routines as compared to other specialties. On average, they work around 50 hours a week. A radiation oncologist makes $506,000 per annum on average. There's a great variety of work that we do. Number five, orthopedic. Orthopedic surgeons, hip and joint specialists, to be specific, are quite well paid. These surgeons generally work with older patients and most of their time is spent meeting with patients to figure out treatment options. It takes about six to seven years for orthopedics after they graduate med school to finally be able to earn big bucks. For about 60 hours per week, Orthopedics earn about $757,000 per annum on average. Number 4. Cardiovascular Surgeons Cardiologists work with matters of the heart and lungs. The work intensity for cardio surgeons varies on a daily basis. These doctors also have to be on call more often than others because emergencies happen regularly. Most cardiovascular surgeons work 60 hours a week. Once this doctor is done with all residencies and fellowships, they can easily make about $795,000 a year. ...operating room that has allowed a myriad of operations to be performed. Number 3. Pediatric Neurosurgeons These types of surgeons deal with epilepsy, spinal defects, and tumors in children. This field is entirely different from regular neurosurgeons because here, the doctors deal with the body of a child and not a fully grown and mature adult. For pediatric neurosurgeons, it takes about 14 years after med school graduation to finally start practicing alone and making some big bucks. They earn about $818,000 per year on average. Number 2. Orthopedic Spinal Surgeons 
Orthopedic spinal surgeons focus on treating conditions around the spinal bone and muscles, for example, scoliosis. Five years of residency plus a fellowship of at least one year is required for a sump specialty in the spine area. These doctors work about 60 hours a week and are on call. These surgeons can earn up to $835,000 a year on average. So really I feel like my role as a spine surgeon is to empower my patients. Number one, neurosurgeons. The process of becoming a neurosurgeon involves about 14 years to finally get into sole practice because the matters of the brain are fragile and cannot be mishandled. When you're just starting out as a neurosurgeon, you will make around $400,000 a year on average. But as you grow more experience, the average numbers can go as high as $876,000. Uh, they'll be earning, um, well, clearly six figures and the first figure may not be a one. If you're interested in any of these positions, do let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the content in this video and wish to see more like these in the future, then all you have to do is like, share, and subscribe. And with that, I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now.